हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल गाइस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द मैच रिव्यू ऑफ न्यूकासिल वर्सेस मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड न्यूकासिल यूनाइटेड डिफीटेड मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड बाय वन गोज टू नील न्यूकासिल टुक ऑल थ्री पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम देयर एनकाउंटर विद मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड इन देयर होम आफ्टर पुटिंग इन अ टर्बो चार्ट परफॉर्मेंस दैट बिलाइट देयर मेरिड ऑफ इंजरी प्रॉब्लम्स इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट इट वाज अ पुअर डिस्प्ले फ्रॉम एरिक टेन हेग्स विजिटर्स हु स्ट्रगल टू इंपोज देमसेल्व्स और क्रिएट मेनी रियल चांसेस ऑफ नोट Anthony Gordon's second half tap in proved the difference. Before heading towards the match review, let's take a look on the starting lineups. Newcastle played this game with a 4-3-3 formation in which Nick Pope started at goal, Karen Trippier at right back, Lascelles and Fabian Scherr were the two center backs, and Liveramento started this game at left back. In midfield, Bruno Gomaraes started this game alongside Joel Linton and Milly. And in attack, Almiron started this game at right wing, Gordon at left wing and Isak started this game as a center forward. While Manchester United played this game with a 4-2-3-1 formation in which Andre Onana at goal, Van Bissaka at right back, Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw were the two center backs and Diego Dalot started this game at left back. Scott McTominay and Kobe Mino were the defending midfielders. Bruno Fernandes played this game as a central attacking midfielder. Marcus Rashford at right wing, Garnacho at left wing and Anthony Martial started this game as a center forward. Anthony Gordon scored the winner for a dormant Newcastle United as they celebrated back to back league wins over Manchester United for the first time in 53 years. Eddie Howe's side secured a merited 3 points when Gordon swept home the clincher from Kieran Trippier's low cross on 55th minute as the home side moved above Tottenham on goal difference and into 5th spot in the Premier League table. Having won 2-0 in April, it was the first time Newcastle have claimed victories in consecutive league games against the visitors since October 1972. It was also astonishingly a historic third win in all competitions against Manchester United for the first time since 1922. Eric Ten Hag's team produced a poor performance and were fortunate to escape St James Park losing only 1-0. With Trippier seeing a free kick crash back off the underside of the bar in the first half, the key negative for an injury-plagued Newcastle squad was the sight of goalkeeper Nick Pope being helped off late on after appearing to damage his shoulder in diving across his goal. The visitors did have a late goal disallowed when Harry Maguire was clearly in an offside position as he deflected substitute Anthony Afford into the home net, but deserved nothing from the match. Yet Maguire and Luke Shaw were arguably the key bright spots for United, who remain seventh in the table with 24 points from 14 games on an otherwise forgettable evening with a short displays at the heart of their defense. Let's take a look on the match stats. Newcastle took 22 shots in which four of them were on target, and Manchester United took eight shots in which only one of them were on target. Newcastle had 59% of possession while Manchester United had only 41% of possession. Let's take a look at the Premier League table after match day 14. Arsenal is at first with 33 points, Manchester City at second with 29 points, Liverpool at third with 28 points, Aston Villa at fourth with 28 points, Newcastle at fifth with 26 points, Tottenham at sixth with 26 points and Manchester United at seventh with 24 points. So that's all for today guys. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe my channel and give your opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you.